How can I help you? Are you Abe Mitchell? Yes, I'm Abe Mitchell. What can you tell us about Huntsville? I lived in Huntsville for most of my life, and they've been calling it Huntsville since before I was born. Are you folks from Arizona? <laughs> no, no, we came out here from Chicago. Big city people. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, welcome to Huntsville. There's been killing and bloodshed in that town ever since people arrived there. It's a beautiful history lesson. Uh, what can you tell us about the day of the first murders on October 21st? It was a typical day in Huntsville. That is to say, it wasn't any different than any other early morning in that town. Honey, is that you? Yeah, the redhead's body was never found. And the crime scene report stated it may have been dismembered. Why would somebody go to all that trouble? Wouldn't somebody just creep into the bedroom in the middle of the night and blow their brains out? With a shotgun, perhaps? Hmm? Yeah, with a shotgun. We're missing something. I know how difficult it can be to try to put all the parts together. Particularly in your case, when you are the, uh, well, the short arm of the law. I mean, the newspapers got it wrong. They planted this story about a serial rapist. Did we cross-reference all the sexual predators in the area? Maybe this guy's got a heart on for good-looking neighbors and he just... Decided to take it on the people next door. Uh, been there, done that, and the checking all the sexual predators in the area, and everything comes back to this guy and everything. Welcome to Huntsville. My name is Kane. I'm your next door neighbor, and I brought you a little housewarming. Me and my brother, we trying to like do the landscaping for all the homes in this little town. Now, anything he doesn't cut, I you two related? I would really say that we've been uh, detached since birth. <laughs> Who else can we look into? You remember John Martin. Huntsville appears to be a very small town and I assume jobs are hard to come by. Hmm? Mr. Kimball, John Martin. John Martin. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Kimball Industries. Thank you. Heard some very good things about you, young man. I think that it might behoove you to take a look into his past. His wife kept running off at the mouth, just like that redhead. I just feel like there's something wrong with this house. I don't want to stay here. Okay, I don't care if we go back to Chicago. I, I, I can go to New York or, or Los Angeles or, or anywhere. I just want to get out of here, okay? I just wanted to warn you. Yes, you should leave before the bad man comes. The bad man? What bad man? I think it's time we pay Mr. Mitchell another visit. Well, to catch a criminal, you gotta be able to think like a criminal, right? I wouldn't know about that. There was this woman who lived in the same street as Abe Mitchell and walked at the same place as our second victim, Martin. Her son was murdered and she was picked up as a suicidal. You seem to be pretty handy with this axe. I do all right, but I'm not as good as old Jakey. Who's old Jakey? Old Jakey makes John Martin look like light action. Believe me. <laughs> now I ain't no saint, but that's the worst kind of man. I'm probably the best neighbor you could ever have. Howdy, neighbor. Hello. Hi. See, I've got a lot of varmints that stick their nose in trash cans and other places where they don't belong. And sometimes I just have to take an axe to them. So it's not in anyone's best interest to disrespect me. We got a quiet little community. Mm. Everybody knows everybody. Well, that's good. If that's the case, I think we'll love it. Well, you never know. <laughs> I wouldn't wish any harm upon anybody. 
But sometimes, when you think you're living on easy street, that's when danger comes knocking at your door. But unfortunately, in their case, danger had already made itself at home. I think if I'd have known that an entire family got killed in our house, we wouldn't have moved in here in the first place. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I just assumed you knew. 